Sometimes I really want to know what kind of person buys in at these prices and why. Hey guys, it's Fels, and this video will be on a topic that will remain relevant as long as there are human beings on earth. Because in this video, we will be talking about buying the short term hype. And with short term hype, I'm talking about stickers in particular. And with buying, I mean why the hell are you buying into the hype? If you're not among the ones who buy into these hypes, then obviously, well, you're not among the ones who buy into these hypes. But there are people who buy into these hypes. And often, regularly, frequently, synonyms. So with five such hypes occurring in the past few weeks and almost all of them ending the same way, I wanted to address these sticker hypes, why they occur, why you shouldn't mess with them, how they almost always inevitably end and how you can actually profit from them without the gambling aspect involved. This video will be part of the understanding series which you can find in this playlist on my channel. While these videos aren't solely targeted to inform beginners in the CSGO economy, they are mainly meant to be educational videos to help people minimize the risk of losing money and those people often tend to be beginners at least i hope so they are also meant as precursors to the beginner's guide to csgo investing that i plan to release sometime in may okay with that out of the way let's get on to the video so we can all agree i think that with the csgo economy not only are there unique risks involved with it but it's also an economy that necessitates more gambling and speculation than simply investing into the stock market would we have been reminded of that just recently with a 75 percent discount on rmr capsules and we have been reminded of that with the lack of a sales so far for Operation Broken Fang, which was generally an expectation coming into the operation, resulting in operation items going up in price across the board starting in mid-February. But for some, this amount of speculation and gambling doesn't seem to be enough. They want that short-term gamble as well. They jump at the possibility to turn a quick buck, throwing caution to the wind. See, it always amazes me how the smallest of news can trigger the biggest of hypes when it comes to stickers for teams and individual players. Some news are a bit larger than others, of course, but especially what has happened this year so far has left a lot of people overpaying for items and inevitably regretting it. Well actually losing money to these hypes is not inevitable and it is important to me that everyone who watches my videos understands why these spikes occur and why it's never a good idea to gamble that the prices of a sticker will just continuously go up. Most of you probably already know this but for anyone who doesn't in this video let's look at some of the recent hypes from this year where they came from and how they ended up. January 16th Get Right retires from professional CS. Get Right retiring from CS actually goes back to December 19th 2020. In this teaser video it looked like he was announcing his retirement or was he just announcing he was leaving Dignitas. We didn't get further news on that for about a month but that didn't stop the hype train from kind of taking off. This graph is actually hilarious in hindsight and pretty much encapsulates what I'm trying to tell you with this video. So the teaser came out on December 19th and people were like oh my god stonks. After that not much in terms of news so the price was in decline again. That was before Get Right officially announced his retirement on January 16th and people were like oh my god stonks and I'm just showing you his Kedovice sticker as an example but you can see this trend with any other of his stickers as well and as of today as the RMR sale caused all the sticker prices to crash as well the get right stickers are worth less than they were before he announced his retirement and all this hype for what for at best double your money if you were the fastest to buy a sticker and sold at the peak but chances are you weren't and the only people who really ever cared about that sticker were you and other investors February 5th North Seas Operations North was a Danish organization and affiliated with the Danish football club FC Copenhagen and an entertainment company called Nordisk Film. Their affiliates decided to stop investing into the team, forcing North to seize operations. As we got the news on February 5th, North stickers absolutely exploded. Let's look at the then newly released RMR stickers for reference. Paper stickers went up by 350% from 12 to 55 cents. Hollow stickers went up by 300% from 80 cents to 3 euro 25. And the gold went up by a whooping 360% from 15 euros to 70 euros. Look, I get it. If you were one of the first to buy the sticker, you made a nice short-term profit. But the only way some of you make money is if a lot of others keep buying the stickers and push the price up, which results in them losing money for your financial gain. There are always more losers than winners with these hypes, and the quick crash in price that followed shows as much. And it's not like North had much of a following or anything. So who would have been ready to pay these prices? Why would they have been ready to pay these prices? They were, in fact, not ready to pay these prices. March 5th, Kenny S benched by G2. G2 announced that their star player, Kenny S, would be benched after a run of poor form. Would his retirement have a more lasting effect on his sticker prices than just his benching? Maybe. He is a pretty popular player after all. But even when Shroud retired for example, his sticker shot up and went back down again after a while, before increasing in value like most other items over the past few years. So if you invested due to the hype, you generally didn't see that money back for about a year after that. Don't buy the hype guys. 
March 26th, Cloud9 disbanded. One of the most recent and bigger news we got was that Cloud9 disbanded their team and that they would take a break from competitive CSGO. Now Cloud9 are a more popular and well-known team than North, so we're getting closer to the lasting effects of the sticker hype territory here. But they did not cease operations yet, they disbanded their roster. Are those big enough news to leave these stickers at higher prices for the long term? Well, by the looks of it, no. I myself had this Cologne 2014 sticker of Cloud9, which I had just recently bought for somewhere between 6 and 7 euros at the start of February. And with the news, the sticker price, which had fallen to 5 euros in the meantime, jumped to over 10 euros on the Steam market. And, to my disbelief, actually sold for 17 euros on Buff, which is a site that is supposed to have lower prices as it represents real cash value. Of course, I jumped on the opportunity and sold my sticker and now, well, it's back down to 5 euros again. As for the Katowice 2015 holo, it jumped up by about 100 euros before falling back down to just about where it was before at least when we look at the buy orders for the sticker so a great unexpected opportunity at short-term profit for me and some others and an unfortunate turn of events for people who bought the hype february 27th and april 11th virtus pro heroic and gambit performances when teams play well in tournaments regardless of whether it's in a major or not their prices go up accordingly and after a few days and weeks their prices drop down again it's such a mystery to me why this causes a hype like that Virtus Pro, for example, played Gambit in the final of the IEM Katowice 2021 tournament in February, and as they made their way to the final, their RMR gold sticker price, for example, reflected that. I myself unboxed the Virtus Pro gold sticker a few weeks earlier and was able to sell it for 43 euros, and it went all the way up to 60 euros. The graph doesn't show that properly anymore, unfortunately, but you can check out my answering questions on RMR video, where at 2 minutes and 15 seconds, I show this exact graph, and you can see that it sold for way more than the 39 euros it is showing here these days. The important point to make here, though, is that the sticker drop all the way down again and really if you buy the virtus pro sticker during the semi-final because you speculate on them going to the finals why not make a bet on a betting side instead same goes for what happened with gambit stickers at that time who won iem kerovice 2021 you can see how high the sticker went up before crashing back down again and now the sticker is again at an inflated price because gambit made it to the esl pro league final as well the winner of that tournament heroic what a surprise experienced the same ups and downs recently are you tired of all the examples already well too bad i got one final recent spike for you april 11th cadian's clutch against gambit if you watch esports you will have seen the highlights of how cadian won the esl pro league with one of the best clutches in csgo history if you got one of his free stickers or bought them early for some reason congrats you made a lot of money after that happened i mean look at that spike that's at least a 3000 percent increase in price for cadian's london paper sticker alone yeah the price dropped by about 75 percent since but if you played your cards right the sticker gave you great returns at the expense of people who for whatever reason bought the sticker at over 7 euros and that's the final example i have for you today this all happened just this year and will happen many more times in the future. I think I've made my point clear that jumping into the hype is never a good idea, even if some stickers like the North and Cadian stickers gave insane short term returns. Not only were those the only two stickers that we looked at here that gave over 150% short term profits, but you would also have to have gotten the stickers at their lowest point and sold them at their highest point to make the returns that we looked at here. I mean if you are the first person to buy a sticker that is about to go up in price, fine. Short term, you are guaranteed to make some money but if you're not and more often than not you're not the first person to buy a sticker you expose yourself to the risk of losing money really quickly for a really dumb reason but if you do own any of these stickers beforehand like i did with the virtus pro and cloud 9 stickers you should definitely sell off your sticker during the hype you will most definitely be able to rebuy it for cheaper a few days or weeks later making some nice profit as well like i did with the cloud 9 sticker my advice would be to also check out the third party site like buff to see if they have people paying absurdly high prices for these stickers with the cloud 9 sticker for example not only was i able to make more money than i would have done selling on the steam community market but sites like buff also allow you to reinvest into items at way cheaper prices than on steam so it's basically a win-win-win situation if that happens other than that stay safe do not let greed overcome you when you see these spikes and always expect prices to drop in the aftermath thank you for watching have a good one